So the object selection tool in Photoshop 2022 has had some amazing improvements. Yes! When you come over and select it right here, and I draw a box around this guy, it's gonna snap to him. If I go into my select and mask, you'll see there's some little yellow right around the hair. I'm just gonna hit refine hair. And look what it did. It fixed all the hair. It even came into some transparency inside of the sunglasses. So I can output that to a new layer with layer mask and click OK. Turn back on the background layer. And now what if I want to shift the color of this whole background image? Let me select it, add a hue saturation adjustment. And what would we want to do? I like the orange. And then I can just go grab another image like this one, click, hover over the tab, come down inside, let go, and then since this is being applied, I'm gonna pull it down below that adjustment layer. Since this is being applied to the background, I'm just gonna choose overlay and maybe a lower percentage so it's not so, yeah, I really like where we're going with this. Some other tweaks. Well, how about the fact that I can't see, I see yellow here. So I need to tweak that a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on this mask with the guy, hit B for brush, smaller brush, and I'll just paint in here so to pick up the color from underneath where we had some of that orange overlay just to kind of blend it with the scene a bit more and i feel like he could be a bit more dramatic so let's select him he's on the top here but he's masked out so i can go into the camera raw filter and adjust him remember showing me everything because it doesn't show the mask but i'm going to pull up the clarity a bit open up this to make it a little brighter and just click ok and there we go so we've gone from this to this like a whole design package really fast and and pretty dramatic bang bang baby it's a new day first let's go select the object selection tool and remember this is the one where if you draw a box around any subject it's going to figure it out and snap to it and you still have the power of going up to select and mask i'm going to use command or control spacebar so I can zoom in using this second one, this Refine Edge brush tool, just to tell it, hey, don't forget to get this. Ah, look at that halo. Do you see that little halo right there? I'm gonna show you how to fix that, which I notice sometimes does happen with this object selection tool. So I always like my smart radius to be about one pixel, smoothing one in feather 0.4, everything else is default. And I always output to new layer with layer mask. Click OK, Command zero to fit in screen. Now remember, it always just automatically turns off the layer behind it. So I just turned that back on. Now remember that halo I was talking about? You can always look at your mask by holding down the Alt on Windows or Option on Mac key and click on it. Ah, there we go. I'm gonna zoom back in real quick. Do you see this halo that's going all the way around? A quick way to fix that, just go to your brush tool, toggle black in your foreground and change your mode at the top all the way down to overlay. Because overlay is about enhancing contrast. It's about getting rid of gray. So Notice how my main selection of the guy, white reveals. So the white is 100% white, then there's black, then there's this little gray jaggy halo. So as long as I'm painting with black, if it's not 100% white, it's gonna shift over to 100% black. And that's what we wanna do. So I'm just gonna clean up that mask real quick, going all the way around the perimeter of the guy. I want that to be white. So I'm gonna switch my foreground back to white because I want to switch this to white. See how I clean that up? And then I'll turn my eyeball back on, and there we go. Command zero to fit in screen. And again, remember this object selection tool works on like say this giant rock. See how it snapped all the way down to the rock? So I could click on the levels adjustment layer if I wanted to make that rock a little darker because it was too overexposed. Now notice I'm still getting that little halo, again, which I, I've noticed is a remnant of this object uh, selection tool. However, you always need to tweak your mask. Here's another quick way to tweak a mask. While you're on the mask, see how it's most highlighted with those white corners? Just go up to filter, down to other, down to minimum, and you're going to change your preserve to roundness. It converts these from whole numbers to decimals, giving you more control. And then you see how you can just kind of drag it until you see that disappear. That's a quick way to adjust your mask. That's what we know already about the object selection tool. Let me show you the new feature. So looking at this image, if I wanted to select the individual strawberries, I'd have to do the quick selection tool and paint over each one and then refine my mask. But watch this. When I toggle on the object selection tool, the objects finder up here is automatically checked and it automatically starts looking to find the objects in your image. And it's already found them all. So now I just hover over them. It's found this strawberry, it's found this strawberry, it's found this strawberry, this strawberry, 
this strawberry, do you see what it's done? It's pre-selected every object, or at least the primary objects in the scene, ready to go. So all you have to do is click on it. It activates that selection. And then let's say I wanted to add a hue saturation adjustment because I want to change the color of my strawberry. See how it added the mask automatically because that we had an active selection. Now I can change this to say magenta. Go back to my background layer and I can click on this one and choose a hue saturation layer again and change this one to green. And then I can go back to my background and I can choose this one and I'll hold down the shift key and select that one. So I selected two that time, hue saturation, can I make those blue? Yeah, there is a blue. So you see how it's giving you a lot of immediate and powerful control, but it's still fully editable. So do you see how this little area right here, it got just a tiny part of that bottom strawberry? I'm just gonna hit B for the brush. I'm going to find that particular, see there's the eyeball for it. That's how I verify. I'm on the layer mask. I am painting with black in my foreground. My mode needs to be on normal at 100%. And what that's going to do, right bracket key to go a little bigger, let me tweak that mask. And if for some reason I didn't want this strawberry in the back to be green, I just find that mask, which is right here. Nope, it's this one right here. And I'm just going to clean that mask up because I only want that front one to be green. Go back to the object selection tool and look, it found the basket. So if I want to select the basket, add a levels adjustment layer, it automatically masks everything but the basket, allowing me just to put a little density into that basket. Now, some things to think about. You can come up to this gear icon and you can change your default color of the overlay to whatever you want. The default outline is zero and it's 65% opacity for that color overlay. I like to leave mine on auto refresh. And then you can also toggle this on, which will show you every single thing it chose. I don't need it to show me all the objects. I just like to hover over them and then it will show me as I need it. See how that works? Really cool. Hey, if you like this video, it helps. You can help me. Smack it, whack it, and crack a lack it. Take care. I like subscribers. That's awesome. <laughs> Whoa. Yes! <laughs> God. Oh my God, I did. This is Hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here.